Here we have fountain 1716. It's a small fountain with a Kuhn designed lid. The Kuhn lid has a inner water ring and a wider rim. The wider rim prevents uh, the water from getting out when the cat uh, puts the paws inside the water and tries to scoop the water out. As wide as the rim is, as better it is. This is the smallest one we have. It's a small, a small fountain. The medium fountain is has a half inch wider rim, and so the large another half inch XL another half inch XXL another half inch. So the XXL would buy, would be approximately this size. So I'll just show you an XL. So you see, this is. An XL, but here the center watering is a bit out of uh, the center. So, but you see the difference from the size. Good, here we have a water lily as a spout. The water comes out here in the middle and goes here in the ring and turns counterclockwise flows over the rim into back into the bowl. There is a pump and a filter and the pump pumps the water through the filter into the spout and so the circle begins. What comes with the fountain? You have the ceramic, it's here. You have a uh, wall power transformer. You have a optional filter for the pump. You have a few replacement parts and you have uh, the filter combination and the pump. The pump has a uh, flow control valve. Make sure it's set to plus. If you when you clean the fountain and you after cleaning you experience a weak flow, check first if the flow control is set to plus or if it's accidentally somewhere close to minus. So this, for example, is a biofilter. It's our own construction. The biofilter has a media bag inside filled with loose charcoal. We also offer a filter where you have a Drinkwell 360 cartridge inside or you have we have a filter housing where the forever filter is inside there the loose charcoal is within a tempered glass. Or we have a filter, it's a combination with uh, the biofilter and a UV uh, sterilization lamp and the pump inside. So uh, soon we will offer uh, the sterilization lamp, the UV sterilization lamp to put inside the fountain. We are testing it also at the moment and if the, the uh, results are positive then we will offer this UV, small UV lamp, sterilization lamp for adding into the bowl to your fountain. So let's look inside this bio, bio filter. So let's unscrew it. You see, and here is a ring, it holds the media bag in place. Then we have the media bag, the media bag is filled with charcoal. So let's fold it together, put the ring on top, make sure that the sack is, how the media bag is holding down by the ring and let's screw it back together. Oh, come on, okay. So when you put it together again, make sure that it looks like this one, that the pump is left of the housing. So, so what else do we have? We have a bag of stuff. It's the sieve cover, the sieve, uh, cotter pins because you see this lid is a curable. Let's empty it. 
So here you have the sieve cover. You can use this little tool, the sieve cover, uh, the sieve, and a little uh, foam pad inside. It's a pre-filter. It catches hair and food rests and stuff like this. This goes here in the backflow area. Oh, it's a bit loose. Oh, come on. So we can bend it a bit so that it's that it sits a bit. Where is the filter here? Okay. Now it sits better. So, and we have the sieve covers. This one is more for optic, it goes in here. And this one is a curable. It has a hole down here and here you have a pin. The pin, if you push this one in, the pin goes underneath the lid, through this, this. here, let's get it out. I'll show you. So this goes here. But the lid is in between here. So it holds the sieve cover in place just in case your cat likes to pull it out and play with it. So this holds it in place. So, but for demonstration here, we just use this one. And then we have the cotter pins. Cotter pins are stainless steel. So, make sure it aligns. So, you see the cotter pin has a bit of a tension. If you like to, if it's too easy to pull it out and your cat might pull it out, try it, if she's playful, then just bend it a bit more and then it will hold tighter in place. Here's another one and there's a third and here is the third one. So this one holds the whole fountain and the lid in place and you can lift the fountain up, you see, by the cotter pins. So, but we don't have the pump and filter inside, so let's remove it again. Let's put... So, here is the indentation where the cable goes through. You take the filter housing and the pump like this. Put the pump next to the area where the indentation is, put the filter in the middle. Here you have the opening and you have markings. This marking is where here the indentation is. This opening is where this uh, tube from the filter goes in. Push it in approximately 3 eighths, half an inch. And then we close it. Okay. And we can or we cannot. It's up to you. So where is here? Yeah. Secure the lid. So then we put in the sieve cover and uh, the sieve and the sieve cover. Here is the pump cable. The cable, the pump comes with a switch. Here we have a rotary switch. We also offer pumps with a uh, rocker switch. It's a rocker on odd switch. It's up to you. I like this one better, by the way. So, let's use... So, for demonstration, we have another possibility. We can use a USB battery. Here you see, here we have, for example, a 
anchor. I have different ones for demonstration. This is an anchor, it's a smaller one. And we can use a USB adapter cable like this one. The adapter cable goes one side goes here into where the pump is and the other side connects to the battery. Let's switch it on and let's see what happens. Whoops, there it comes. Okay. This is now with a USB battery. But the fountain comes with uh, this uh, wall power transformer. Let's connect the wall power transformer. Instead of the USB battery. Okay, now it runs with a wall power transformer. But as an option, you can use a USB battery in case you don't have an outlet where your fountain is or your grid fails or whatever. Okay, now for demonstration, use a battery again. So let's have a closer look. So here you see how the water comes out and how it turns counterclockwise. So the idea is to have a wider rim as I explained and so the cat can drink out of the rim but it's difficult to scoop the water out. Not as difficult with a small one but with a, the wider ones it's extremely difficult. So if you like to have more information about this fountain or our fountains in general go to my website it's ebfountains.com it's ebifountainsplural.com ebifountains.com ab is my name I'm ab by the way. Thank you.